Guess what? They kicked Donald Trump off the ballot in Colorado. The Colorado Supreme Court just removed Donald Trump from the ballot under the 14th Amendment, even after a lower court judge in Denver, who was a longtime Democrat donor, ruled against it. Because democracy is when a handful of partisan judges prevent people from being able to vote for who they want. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Yes, letting people vote for who they want is a threat to democracy. Glenn Greenwald says, as Biden collapses in the polls and Trump rises, Democrats are going to resort to increasingly desperate and anti-democratic means to ensure Trump can't run. All the while, they insist that they are the guardians of democracy. This is playing with real fire. This is, uh, to me, this is, uh, this is the Democrats and the establishment. This is not just the Democrats, also the establishment, which hate the donor class hates Donald Trump just yeah. as much as the Democrats do. And that's why the, the, the mainstream Republicans don't stick up for Donald Trump or stick up for uh, democracy or freedom of speech or ballot access or anything. Right. Because the establishment isn't for democracy. What happened at Brexit and what happened when Donald Trump got elected, those happened almost at the same time. And the establishment was like, we can't have this ever happen again, which is why they did Russiagate, which was completely made up by the Clinton campaign, the FBI and the CIA and the news media. They completely made that up. It was all made up. They lied to the FISA court to tap Donald Trump's phone. They did that. They lied 17 times to the FISA court. And so this is this is so they can't have Brexit anymore. They can't have democracy. The people who are saying you need to vote for Democrats to save democracy are the people who actually are the enemies of democracy. What uh, every accusation they make is a confession. Those people are projecting onto Donald Trump everything that they're doing. They're actually the one who are killing journalists. They're the ones who are going after Julian Assange because why he lied? No, because Do Julian Assange told the truth about the war machine and the establishment, and he revealed that Barack Obama worked for the same people. People George Bush worked for the same people. That's it. So this is why they can't. So when they tell you that if you vote for Donald Trump, you're an enemy of democracy and that they're the ones saving it, they're lying. And this is proof of it, because this is the most anti-democratic thing you could possibly to do is to kick people out. This is what fascist, authoritarian and dictators do. They kick their political opponents off the ballot. That's what happens in China. That's what used to happen in Soviet Re Union. That's not what's supposed to happen in the United States. And that's what they're doing right Right now, uh, by the way, the last election, uh, Biden beat Trump in Colorado by 22 points. So they don't even have to pull this shit. Yeah, that's why they, it doesn't hold up. So it's like, a, you know, well, we're going to see we told just like the other bullshit charges against him. None of which hold up. I don't know how. So here's what. And and they're saying that they're they're saying it's because Donald Trump incited uh, uh, did an insurrection. But they never show you this tweet. I'm asking for everyone at the U.S. Capitol to remain peaceful, no violence. Remember, we are the party of law and order. Respect the law and our great men and women in blue. Thank you. Apparently, the FBI didn't get that tweet. Well, so, I think they did, and that's why there was no criminal charges of him starting an insurrection, right? He's not been legally charged with that. So uh, AOC would have told him to go to the— So, so yeah. AOC would have said, go to the judge's house. Yeah, right. Because that's what this isn't that that's what, they, what she did say. That's what she said. Roe v. Wade. If line Roe, up outside a judge's house. Go Doesn't to, sound dangerous, right? So, so here's the real reason. Well, we already know the real reason, but here's proof of the real reason why they did this to Donald Trump and kicking him off the ballot in Colorado. But which, by the way, it's going to get overturned by the Supreme Court. What pre what predicts Colorado Supreme Court justices vote on Trump's disqualification? Is it their party? No. Because they're all Democratic appointees. But it's the law school. So if they went to an Ivy League school, they voted to kick Donald Trump off the ballot. And if they didn't go to an Ivy League law school, all, all the Denver law grads voted to not disqualify uh, Donald Trump. Yeah. Well, because Ivy League law schools, that's where you're going to pull the levers of power. That's why you're trying to get in the Ivy League, right? Yes. And so... What are they overwhelmingly? People that studied law, but they don't really go into law. They become government people. And because they know the law, they figure out ways to break the law to do the things they want to do. It's full of these scumbag lawyers that aren't lawyers. Like it, a lawyer it's is weird better to, it's than weird, a, a government person. It's weird to think of these judges some, there's, there, that there's a working class lawyer, right? <laughs> 
But they, right. But yeah. they, so if you didn't go. Uh, like a mafia lawyer that helps them get out, they're less evil than the ones that go into government. You know why Ivy League schools cost so much? Because you have to pay the teachers extra to tell these entitled socially inbred morons that <laughs> they are smarter than everybody else year after year. No, that's not fair. A lot of them are physically inbred as well as socially. So here it is. Uh, so here's all. I, I don't have to show you this. I'm just going to tell you that. Uh, Chief Justice Boatwright dissented, Justice Samore dissented, Justice Birkenkotter dissented. So those are the ones that didn't go to Ivy League schools. Someone said, Justin William Hood is a U University of Virginia grad. U University is, is an ACC school, not an Ivy League. Uh, and then someone says, all T14 law school grads voted to disqualify. But yes, point taken. Okay. Oh, he's not saying that to Schwartz, to the guy who said they're not Ivy League. He's saying it to the other guy. Yeah. Oh, I misunderstood that. So Glenn Greenwald says, after 2016, first Brexit, then Trump wins. Western elites decided population could no longer be trusted with basic freedoms. They chose and think wrong. That's exactly what happened. That That's what led to the censorship disinformation regime. And now they're barring the leading candidate or president from running for president. So it started with Alex Jones censorship, then it went to the leading lawyers, it went to the leading doctors and scientists, then it went to the leading journalists, and then it went to the former president of the United States. So it, that, that's what this is. Oh, they're just going to bar Donald Trump. They're going to bar anybody. It, it's got, it'll start with Donald Trump, and then it's going to be anybody the establishment doesn't like is going to get barred. Just like when Obama blew up that American citizen Al-Qaeda guy that was out there with no trial. And that's I was right. like, well, he's an Al-Qaeda, good. No, no cognizance that they're going to do it to you if they do it to the guy you don't like. If you're for that, it's going to blow up in your face. And it, it is. It's doing it right now. Uh, so Danny uh, B, this guy, uh, he, he had a good thread. And I'm going to read it to you. He, had some, he has a good tweet about this. He said, I just read the decision. The justices clearly wrote an opinion based on a predetermined co collusion. He says, I remember in less is great. Watch this. He says, I remember in law school, one of my professors asked a question of the class in case we were reviewing, in a case we were reviewing, which side is correct? After the class gave their opinions, he answered, you're all wrong. The side that is correct is the one that is paying you. That's how the law works. That's how the law works. Okay. <laughs> Let me see if I have a joke for this. Maybe I do. I do. Uh, and that's why, and that's what I want when I'm paying a lawyer. Yeah. If you're talking about a judge, that I, I feel like there's a possible conflict of interest there. Yes, I want the lawyer to think the who's ever paid. Judges are being paid, are they? Judges are being paid by the state. They're not supposed to have. They're not supposed to be paid. Be paid, but. The decision reads not like a well-reasoned court opinion, but more like a one-sided argument by an attorney arguing for his client. Maybe I'm naive, but before and after going to law school, I always thought that the most judges had that most judges had the ability to apply facts to the law in an unbiased way and to come to a rational and well thought out conclusion. Recent events are showing me that I was dead wrong. That's because it is a lawyer arguing for his client. <laughs> Except for some reason, he's also a sitting judge. <laughs> okay. Um, he goes on to say, in this case, the Colorado judges have become activists instead of judges. Their opinions read like something you would see on CNN, not in the court of law. First, they pulled out selective facts and excluded others based on their own political biases. For example, when describing the events that unfolded on January 6th, they only highlighted the part of Trump's speech that they decided to use. Conveniently, they excluded everything he said about protesting peacefully, which I already showed you. Second, the interp in interpreting the law, they used their predetermined conclusions while simultaneously ignoring one of our most important principles, that you are innocent until proven guilty, as pointed out by the dissenting judges. They casually bend, change, and interpret the law in a completely unreasonable and irrational way to come to their conclusion that Donald Trump engaged in insurrection and is therefore disqualified from the ballot because he is disqualified from being president. 
The sad part is that they clearly know the decision is nonsense and will not hold up. They stayed their decision until January 4th. And note that if review is sought in the Supreme Court before the stay expires, the Colorado Secretary of State will still be required to include President Trump's name on the ballot. Does that sound like a confident decision to you? The three dissenting judges, also Democrats, and including the Chief Justice, tell you all you need to know that there is an absence of criminal conviction for an insurrection related offense. And therefore this case should have been thrown out. So they're saying that Donald Trump is guilty of a crime. He's never been charged with or convicted of. And therefore it should have been thrown out. It should have been thrown out. And that's that. Uh, He's supposed to be guilty, uh, innocent until proven guilty. Yeah, right. He didn't prove it. He didn't prove he didn't do it. They've been saying that for like how many years now? Trump didn't uh, wasn't exonerated. So this is brought to you by the same geniuses who insist that the col- uh, collapse of Building Seven was because of the fire next door. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to believe it because it's on TV. That's they all. Wouldn't this- do that. <laughs> <laughs> I had someone just the other night at dinner tell me why would they do that. Uh, do you go to dinner with a series of the least informed humans that have ever walked the earth? Yes. All right, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> d- Kurt, don't go against the TV or the thing you purchased on layaway from Best Buy will come for you. <laughs> Be scared of your appliance. It sounds like a Stephen King novel. No wonder he agrees with them. Stephen King agrees with all this shit. He's old and he still watches TV. Who watches TV? I'm on a laptop watching stuff. And... This is unbelievable. This is this. Is, so this is what starts. So the people who say Trump wants to start a civil war, they're the ones trying to start a civil war. People once Trump is trying to start chaos. They're the ones creating the chaos. They're the one. Trump is going to get rid of the rules. They're the ones that get rid of the rules. The exact opposite. And again, I didn't vote for Trump. I was not a Trump supporter. I voted third party the whole time. I wouldn't vote. And. But people are going to say, people like Donald, people will say that I am, and that's not true. Dude, the best part now is young people, the big Biden voters, which is young people and black people, are overwhelmingly later Biden, and everyone's panicking. That's my favorite thing on MSNBC is watching them panic. They're panicking. In clips, because they can't believe. And, and they're Kyle letting. I can't believe, right? And, Galinsky? And, 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 yes, right. Kyle, okay. A trillion, trillion times, times better. better. <laughs> what, was it? Was it a trillion times better? And so everything they say that Trump is going to do when he becomes president again, they're already doing. They're already killing journalists, Julian Assange. They're already prosecuting their political enemies in Stop Cop City and uh, January 6th and Donald Trump. They're already doing all those things. They've already ended democracy. They've already lied to you to push a political position. They're already lying to you in every war. How about black Uhuru that nobody cares about because right. they're black communists That's right. that got brought in for aiding Russia by telling the truth about Ukraine that everyone's saying now? That, that's right. Come see us do a live stand-up show. We'll be in Venice, California, Palmdale, California, Omaha, Des Moines, Milwaukee, Lansing, Bend, Oregon, Portland, Oregon, Seattle, Washington, Boston, Massachusetts, and we're going to Europe. Do you live in Europe? We're going to be there. Go to jibido.com for a link for all those tickets. Mm-hmm.